Mendel used self-pollinating pea plants in his experiments because their flowers, unlike those of many other flowering plants, are created in such a way that flower petals completely cover each flower's sexual structures so pollen can't be distributed between flowers by wind or insects. But pea plants can be cross-fertilized by hand. Mendel would carefully open the flower of the plant to be fertilized and cut off its male sexual structures so that the flower couldn't self-fertilize. Then he would carefully collect pollen from a flower belonging to a second plant with which he wished to breed the first plant and then apply this pollen to the female reproductive structures of the first flower. Mendel hypothesized that as he transferred pollen from the male reproductive structures of pea plants with white flowers to the female reproductive structures of pea plants with purple flowers, he was bringing together discrete physical units, one from each parent, which formed pairs that together would determine flower color in the next generation of pea plants. Mendel referred to these discrete physical units as factors. Today, we call them genes and know, unlike Mendel, that they are made up of segments of DNA found on even larger pieces of DNA called chromosomes. The different forms that a gene can take are referred to as alleles. In Mendel's flower experiment, there were two alleles, one for purple flowers and one for white. 